opened up the shop in March of 2011 uh, because I have a passion for creating things out of chocolate. Uh, it's an ethereal substance that everybody loves. Uh, we've got a funny saying we say around here that nine out of ten people love chocolate and the tenth person always lies. Boulder is a unique community. Uh, people of Boulder are very well-traveled. Uh, they understand what good food is, they've had good food, and they have high expectations. And this shop sort of has a theme of kind of a little bit of a European boutique, and I knew that the people of Boulder would recognize that and appreciate that for what it is. It's not, it's specifically not like a cutout chain, a cookie cutter chain that looks exactly like the one you've seen in Portland or San Diego or what have you. It's, it's completely unique, it's the only one we have. First time around, as far as college goes, I decided to become a graphic designer, so that would take me out of the bake shop or out of the bakery, uh, and I was very excited about that. I was always artistically inclined, and I enjoyed uh, having a career in art, and I was lucky enough to live in Europe for four years right after graduating art school and got to work at a great uh, creative uh, studio, and the boss that I had at the time was nuts about Belgian chocolate. in Amsterdam at the time and we would always schedule client visits down in, in Brussels and that would take maybe an hour, hour and a half and then for the rest of the day we would go out and hit pastry shops and chocolate shops and that's where I probably got most of my education. Uh, I'm the daughter of a serial entrepreneur. Uh, my father started businesses of all different types um, and just his whole game was about making it himself and, and making it work and I grew up around that. As I mentioned, Boulder, Colorado, being well-traveled uh, people that live here, they've seen that and, and they recognize it. So when they can get a French macaroon as good as they got in Paris, here in the middle of the United States, they're thrilled. Uh, or chocolate, for that matter, or bonbons, like they bought at Pierre Hermé's shop in Paris. My fiance at the time, and I moved back to Colorado, back to Boulder, where I'm from, uh, we decided to start looking around for venues to get married and cakes and things like that and I was kind of disappointed in what I found in as far as cakes were concerned. Uh, I was a devout chocoholic. The cake would absolutely had to be chocolate and it had to be beautiful because it was my wedding cake and I found lots of bakeries that made beautiful cakes uh, but I just they didn't taste great. Um, and so we, I found a bakery, we had a fine cake, everything was great, but I decided that, gee, there's kind of an interesting little niche. Uh, what if I made really fantastic, over-the-top designed wedding cakes out of chocolate? You know, as you journey through life, every experience that you have, whether it's education or businesses that you've created or jobs you've had, they all kind of layer on top of each other, and you see that. I mean, I'm 46 years old right now, and I couldn't do what I do right now having not been a graphic designer, having not had a father as an entrepreneur and just experience, experiencing the ups and downs of entrepreneurship, understanding that it's not all wine and roses or chocolate and roses for that matter. Uh, a lot of it's just hard work, rolling up your sleeves, coming in here every day at five or six o'clock in the morning and sometimes leaving at eight or nine at night. Uh, it's, it's hard work, it does not come easy. Everybody likes to talk about this overnight su success. Um, we're very busy now. We have an established clientele on any given weekday. I mean, Wednesdays around here used to be dead, but our shop is pretty bustling right around noon uh, these days and that's taken years to build. We've, we've come a long way in three and a half short years. It's not an overnight success. It's, it's the, you know, the everyday grind that, you know, you look back and you see the journey that you've made and, and wow. Mm -hmm.